Today I have the 2021 Moto G Power. Motorola has finally stopped counting the absurd amount of G phones they release and simply dubbed this one the G. These are well past Zach's deeper level 7 grooves and the screen needs to be replaced. Jumping right to the hot mat, after heating the plastic back panel, a thin metal pry tool can be run around the edges to break the adhesive seal. There isn't anything hidden behind the panel, no ribbons or fingerprint readers, and no antenna lines to worry about cutting. There is a bit of extra adhesive around the camera lens, but that usually separates on its own. Now the back panel can be pulled away, revealing a questionably useless graphite sticker. Motorola really loves these. To the top of the midframe, you'll find 11 standard Phillips screws securing it to the frame. With no clear pry points for this, I opted to go the risky route and pry below the gap where the antenna lines run. Not the safest spot, but it was effective. With that panel removed, we get a look at a half-populated board that doesn't look unfamiliar to previous Motorola phones. Down to the bottom there are 8 more standard size screws. These are all the same size and length. Again, there are no clear pry points to remove this, and I again opted for the not-so-safe antenna point. This one wanted to be removed, otherwise it wouldn't fly away like that, right? Back to the top, here's the important part, disconnecting the battery. From there, basically everything else needs to be disconnected as well. Hidden below this camera connection is the only board screw. It's a shorter silver Phillips screw that should be kept separate. Down at the bottom for a moment, there's one ribbon that needs to be disconnected, and another silver screw that needs to be taken out. Now the boards are safe to remove. The top one took some persuasion and appears to have some Pepto-Bismol branded thermal paste below it. The battery comes out with some heat and alcohol. Check out my previous video on how to remove them if you need help. A black strip of electrical tape holds the antenna lines in a trench next to the battery compartment. This could have been designed much better. This long extension ribbon is also secured with a Motorola seat belt under the battery compartment. I can't wait for this design to be phased out and replaced by something intelligent. The charging board can be removed. I left the antenna attached so I don't get them mixed up. Now some small components like the ear speaker, proximity sensor, vibration motor, and a few gaskets need to go to our replacement frame. As usual, the part I'm using is a display that has been pre-installed in a replacement frame. This is the most cost-effective and least time-consuming replacement method. Screens with frames typically cost only a couple extra dollars, but save huge amounts of time. The battery is the last component to go in. Make sure there aren't any kinks in the ribbons when the battery is adhered down. Finally, the midframe is reinstalled along with all the screws. I'll be sure to test this phone before sealing the back panel to it. With some fresh adhesive, the back panel is pressed firmly to the frame. This phone is all fixed up and ready to go. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe for more repairs coming soon. See you next time.